what's going on guys it's your boy serrano and welcome back to another video and today we're going to be talking about the alcatel 3v and we're going to talk about be talking about the tips and tricks for this device so make sure you guys stay locked in and without any further ado we're going to jump into the first tip right now all right guys so the first tip is inside of the display so we're going to go to settings and we're gonna go to display and then we're gonna go into um, right here where it says navigation bar and you're gonna see right here you're gonna get the option to choose from if you want the back button to be on the left or right or recent button to be on the right or left and you can just switch between those two depending on your personal preference but if you decide to hide the navigation bar which is that little button, it looks like a circle with a line down right there. You can hide the navigation bar with one of these buttons as well. And adjust the layout to your preference. I think I'm gonna go with this one. And then you can actually change the color to the background of your um, navigation bar right here down below. So you can see when you touch that, it's actually going to change to your personal preference. All right, guys. So the second tip that I'm going to show you is in display as well. So you just click advance right here and then you're going to click right here where it says one handed mode. So you see right here where it says one handed mode, you get the ability to gesture and reduce the screen or click the middle button three times. and you can reduce the screen as well okay guys so while we're still in display we're going to go down to device theme click that button and you're going to be able to see that you can change it from dark light or automatic as well and go to display too and change it to sleep at 10 minutes also they even give you a um screensaver here so you can click this gear button and you can set night mode very dim for dark rooms and select the style digital or analog too if you wanted to change the wallpaper or lock screen just go over and hit wallpaper right here hit this button and then let's just find a wallpaper that we actually think is pretty cool and i think this one looks pretty cool so just set wallpaper and then you can see it says home screen, lock screen, and then this one says home screen and lock screen. So this is gonna be lock screen. So then we're just gonna hit that button. And when we go back and hit lock and then open, you can see that that is actually set as the lock screen. We go into settings and hit that button right there. And make sure you have RCS enabled and also um, you're gonna be able to see right here that you have message LED indicator. So anytime that that um, turns, you get a message or something like that, you do get the indicator. You can also click this one right here when, and it'll make the screen actually light up when you do get a message as well. Or you can actually make your phone vibrate too when you get a message right here inside of the message settings, go to advanced. Then you're gonna go down and you're gonna look for the features right here where it says typing indication where it's already checked on and read report. So you can see when someone is typing and when they have received your message too. Now, one of my favorite features is an accessibility, and it has to do with the uh, surround sound speakers. So just go down and hit um, mono auto, which will combine channels when playing audio at the top and bottom too. Now you can see this thing already moves extremely snappy. And um, honestly, I didn't have any gropes, belly aches, hiccups, or concerns with the performance whatsoever. So I don't see how that would be an issue. But if you did want to make your device faster, just go to accessibility, then go down and then go to remove animations. And then when you hit that, 
you're gonna notice the lightning speeds like basically um, from screen to screen there's not gonna be any loading time and everything is gonna be pretty much lightning quick so if we go to in, into Twitter it's gonna basically get there really quickly without any animations too now if you go down into system and then you hit gestures you're gonna see that you have jump to camera when you double click the um, the button right there for the power button and you'll be able to get to the camera also you do get um, the power and volume rocker together which will prevent ringing on your device you can see multiple users like let's say if you have like a little kid or something like that you can right here add users from lock screen and you can just enable that feature and then hit guest so basically um, when you hit that it's gonna start switching the phone to the guest mode and let's say you just want to hand your phone off to like a little kid or something like that so they don't delete like an important document or like something that you were doing that you you know definitely were you know it was definitely pretty important um, when you hand your phone off to the kid and everything like that um, basically what's gonna end up happening is that um, it's gonna go into guest mode so that when when you go inside your apps you can see that takes quite some time but it's basically at the default mode so this is pretty much how it would look before I even set anything up and then when you were finished basically you could basically um, just go right back in the settings and then go into uh, sorry system and then you would go right back into advanced and into the users and then remove the guest so that's basically pretty cool because you can actually protect your phone that way and safe keep all your important things and it says face unlock when screen turns on you can unlock your device with your face without swiping so that, i think that's cool because you don't have to actually swipe to unlock your device now if you want to take a screenshot with this device just press the down volume rocker and power button at the same time say we want to click a black friday deal hit that button and then you're gonna see right here it says touch to scroll, edit, delete, share. So let's hit scroll, got it. And then you can see touch to edit. You can you can edit that too, share, got it. And then it gives you all those options. You also do get this arrow button here by scrolling. And then you hit done. And then that way you've got that whole entire thing to mess around with. And then you can hit finish at the top when you're finished and save to gallery so then when you go into your gallery app which is designated here you're going to see that and then you're going to see that that whole screenshot is actually going to be saved in your gallery too which is really cool and i definitely think that's really useful as well device device will be enabled for video calling too which is really dope and let me just show you how this little thing on the side works if you want to remove that little thing you just hit it if you want it to come back you swipe up and you can lock it if you want it to stay but you can always just remove it just like that click this button and then you're gonna basically go into an app that you want to multitask with like let's say YouTube and hit this one hit split screen and then it's gonna take you to a secondary app, either in your app drawer or in your most recent, which is cool. You could choose between either one. And then let's say it's Twitter. And now you can actually mess around and use Twitter and YouTube at the exact same time, which is definitely pretty cool. Now, usually where a lot of the features are hidden is display. So again, there's another feature right here called function shortcuts, which is basically be for your lock screen. So you see you have your flashlight, recording, timer, calculator, and Google Assistant. If you wanted to, you could replace it with compose a message, compose an email, add a contact, add an event, navigate home screen, or set alarm or you can add 
right here add shortcut to but um, you can always mess around and adjust those and when you lock your screen right here and unlock it you're gonna see those options right here down on the bottom of your device for easy access thank you guys for watching these are some quick tips for your alcatel 3v for metro by t-mobile hope you guys found this video helpful in any way possible but if you did hit the like button to show your support and appreciation for the video and again thank you guys so much and i'll see you guys on the next video but in the meantime have a great morning afternoon evening and depending where you are have a great night later crew peace